Yes, hello. My name is Kaspar Wies. I'm working um, as senior researcher at the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institute, affiliated uh, to the University of Basel. Jointly with my colleagues here at Swiss DPH in, in uh, Côte d'Ivoire, uh, we published in uh, Public Health and Surveillance, uh, JMR, uh, an original paper with the title Key Characteristics and Perception of Different Outbreak Surveillance System in Côte d'Ivoire and uh, Cross-Sectional Survey Among Users. In our paper um, labeled Key Characteristics um, and Perception of Different Outbreak Surveillance Systems in Côte d'Ivoire, we compared uh, three different uh, systems being used for epidemic and pandemic outbreak, the so-called so uh, DHS part, um, as well as um, MACB, and, um, uh, and then uh, SOMAS. Uh, SOMAS is, was uh, in the interest as it was uh, uh, piloted within uh, two regions of Côte d'Ivoire in the period uh, uh, 2021 to 23, and um, we showed that uh, these three systems were operating in parallel, and each one having its, its own benefits. We looked uh, through um, an online survey with around uh, 200 persons in Côte d'Ivoire on the perception of different futures of these three surveillance systems, as said, SOMAS, DHS2, and MACB and uh, could see a range of different uh, aspects on the acceptability and uh, which aspects uh, are, are being more esteemed uh, by different uh, parts of the, um, uh, the, the users of the uh, surveillance system. We saw uh, specifically uh, that SOMAS is a nice and good tool uh, based on this piloting for epidemic surveillance uh, in Côte d'Ivoire, has a very good acceptance and um, has, however, also a good potential for contributing also in future uh, for epidemic pre preparedness, surveillance and management, uh, specifically also for contact tracing. However, it needs obviously to see uh, three systems at parallel in, in place. So decisions are required, which one is the best fit for Côte d'Ivoire and here uh, additional work might be, might be warranted. Our manuscript uh, was published in uh, JMR um, surveillance um, and that's obviously for comparison and a research comparing three different surveillance system uh, the optimal and best um, um, journal. I think overall our experiences uh, with the journal was um, good. Uh, it has a nice uh, impact factor. Also, um, the review process was smooth and straightforward uh, with a solid and good reviewers contributing during the review process also to improvements of the manuscript. So we were very happy. Uh, in having been able to publish our research in GR, GMAR.